Uh, hello everybody, my name is Andre and I'm working for Brimit as a Sidecore developer. Today I want to speak about the new Sidecore Experience Cameras 9. As you know, Sidecore Experience Cameras 9 uh, was uh, announced a uh, few days ago and uh, for download uh, it will be available uh, as I know uh, after 26th of uh, January. So please do not make any photos, <laughs> <laughs> don't share this info. Um, uh, okay, so what's new? Uh, raise your hands who worked with uh, maybe with set of cameras powered by a camera server or powered by Dynamics AX. Okay, good. Uh, maybe do we have any guys who worked with set core cameras 8.2.1? Okay, cool. So, as you know, uh, uh, in, in, uh, in previous year, Sitcore released a new version of Sitcore cameras, uh, but still used uh, Commerce Server. Uh, in Commerce Server, uh, in 8.2.1 version, uh, we still store uh, catalogs, uh, inventory, profiles, and in new version of Sitcore experience cameras 9 uh, we fully uh, set core fully migrated uh, to uh, his own system uh, uh, yep uh, so for uh, right now any requirements for uh, commerce 9 it's uh, right it's a uh, it's set core uh, 9 we can start work with initial list, but uh, we know uh, we have also uh, update one uh, for it. Uh, and uh, the second requirement is a set core experience accelerator. So now all uh, uh, sample storefront site, as you know, it's a sample site where, uh, for example, developers uh, developers can start to work with um, basic functionality for sample for sample uh, e-commerce site and uh, just uh, navigate some uh, search uh, facets uh, product details page category page and some other stuff uh, so uh, commerce 9 uh, only work uh, works with Windows Server 2016, uh, SQL Server 2016, uh, Visual Studio 2017, uh, and uh, SPNet Core. Uh, so uh, all uh, stuff for Commerce 9 based on Angular. So it means that all components we can build in uh, in Angular. Uh, and also, uh, we have right now new storefront uh, with new design. It looks better. I will show you the simple uh, sample sample site uh, after my presentation. Uh, also, new catalog which we store in also in um, uh, some services which uh, hosted on uh, ISP.NET Core uh, inventory profile systems and. Uh, Completely removal legacy was completely removal uh, legacy camera server product. Uh, what will Setcore cameras uh, bring? It's a uh, as uh, Setcore announced that it will be a faster time to market because now we're using SXA f uh, where we can uh, drag and drop uh, any uh, companies which uh, Setcore uh, released. Uh, about uh, 40 components uh, for storefront side. Also, we have new inventory management uh, page, uh, catalog management, also user-generated content integration, flexible product and licensing options. Uh, now we need only in one place uh, license and uh, any other services. We'll look. Uh, uh, we'll we'll uh, verify a license uh, in only in Sidecore and uh, secure and scalable deployment. Uh, as you know, in uh, s when was released uh, Sidecore cameras 8.2.1, uh, there was no any flexible uh, 
uh, roles for configure, for example, for multiple stores. And uh, we, for example, on my project where we used 8.2.1 version of Sidecore cameras, we implemented uh, a custom logic for that. Sorry. Uh, okay, as I already uh, told that uh, now, uh, as you see, it's a screenshot of um, uh, storefront side. Now here in the uh, toolbox we have there are a lot of uh, controls. We can uh, just drag and drop uh, on our page and it will work. Uh, and we also need to configure uh, each of them. Okay, uh, uh, right now uh, inventory management um, includes uh, support for online to offline commerce uh, and uh, we are allocations, ability to manage uh, multi stores, multi warehouse, and uh, right now, for example, uh, uh, when site uh, we can use. Mm, mm, uh, uh, Linux, for example, for host our storefront services uh, on Linux, but uh, when we used uh, when Sidecore used uh, commerce server, it was impossible. Uh, so Sidecore uh, a few days ago, when it was uh, announced, uh, told that they expected that will be uh, that uh, new. Commerce uh, will change the world. Will change uh, the e-commerce, e e-commerce sites, and uh, then focused. Uh, then we need to all migrate all business to commerce. I don't. Uh, maybe it's good. Uh, th 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 they are thinking in good way, but uh, when uh, on announcement. Uh, guys from uh, Sidecore said that, for example, uh, on Sidecore cameras 8.2.1 uh, was delivered in previous year about no more than six uh, sites. It's uh, not a, a, a big, uh, uh, not, a, not, not a big size for Sidecore, I think, uh, but we will see that. Uh, also, flexible deployment and licensing option in Sidecore cameras. Now we have Sidecore ex Experience Camera supports Azure uh, Pass uh, EAS, uh, on a Primus development, uh, and it's available so subscriptions or uh, perpetual licenses. So also, uh, so for now, for limited availability release, uh, for example, uh, uh, camera storefront supports only uh, supports only one currency, and we couldn't uh, uh, and uh, in ava limited availability we don't have any possibility to host uh, sidecore commerce in Asia, but we will have it. Uh, after the 26th of January. Uh, where is Setco cameras heading to? Uh, components and functionality to support uh, B2B, uh, supports to different payments providers, supports for tax providers, supports for shipping providers, checkout, ref uh, uh, defined forms based uh, on Sidecore forms, and some, uh, I think, will be, it's a good idea, uh, Setcore will uh, release also new uh, 
uh, base uh, new, new storefront scaffolding for start develop uh, site based on site uh, new site core cameras it's uh, a good point for me uh, is this will be the same with uh, uh, old storefront side but uh, now we can extend uh, already existing functionality for example in easier way so thank you and now I want to make a small demo so okay how now looks uh, uh, administer panel for the camera server uh, right now we have, uh, have only one button like a business tool but on previous version of set cameras 8.2.1 we had uh, as I remember about four three buttons and not all um, stuff we can see inside uh, in sidecore we can also see it in uh, commerce server but for now w as you see we are redirecting to another another site it's uh, looks like a sidecore uh, administrative panel but it's the same site with uh, the same uh, markup now it works slowly also we have here the same credentials we are using the same membership in sidecore so wh what do we what do we have uh, we have some navigation panel for customers um, also here we can select uh, select uh, configuration we will which we will use so we can define there are a lot of um, configuration uh, configurations and uh, for example for multi sites it's uh, better for example if we want to configure our uh, security for separate stores For example, customers. Uh, here we can see all our uh, users who was registered on our storefront site. On user details page, we can find any information about account number. Account status uh, address. Here we can uh, user can define more than one addresses. Also, we have co we have limitation. We can set limitation for that. Uh, and uh, customer orders for each user. Also, here we have new. Uh, new feature is inventory now inventory hosting on, on a separate uh, service and uh, I don't know why but Sitcore forgot to add uh, here pagination and uh, when we trying to open inventory we are loading uh, all our inventory catalog <laughs> but I think it will be fixed Also, one more note, for example, right now inventory at and catalog were uh, we are not storing in commerce server. And for example, new, uh, if you want to have, um, I don't know, uh, some uh, import products, if you want to import from existing catalog, maybe in I don't know in, in which format, uh, but Sitcore uh, told that uh, also migration uh, migration and I import tool will be available only uh, after f uh, official release. But now it's not impossible to show how it works.
Okay, let's skip this inventory. <laughs> okay, uh, orders, on orders page, uh, we can see any orders for each configuration. For example, for habited shops, maybe. Yep, for habited shops, I have one order here. Uh, merchandiser. Now we still, uh, after previous release uh, of Setco Cameras 8.2.1, now we have new markup for uh, product catalog. So here we have some, we, we can add some new, go to any catalogs and try to open one product. Uh, here we can see some descriptions, uh, uh, some information about products. Uh, also we can add here pricing. Uh, also we can set uh, prices in uh, different currencies. Uh, but for limited availability we have only uh, si single currency, it's a USD. And also variance. Some images. Okay, in relationship definitions, we can define our own properties for category, uh, for catalog, and um, uh, we can define our own. For example, right now, I say no, uh, available only size, product size, uh, product color, and someone else. I don't remember. Also, promotions. I know that uh, in this uh, release of Commerce 9, that code should provide only new and fix all bugs related to uh, promotions. Also, here we have pricing book. It's a good feature. Here we can define our prices book and price cards. In price card, we can uh, set special uh, prices for special period for example uh, uh, as a client i want to set for example uh, for tomorrow uh, after eight o'clock a uh, new price here i can uh, uh, create new uh, pro price cut snapshot set uh, right price and apply and in tomorrow, for example, tomorrow at uh, eight o'clock, uh, this uh, price will be applied for this product. Uh, and also, one good thing, we can uh, define any tax. For example, new pricing, and we can add this tax uh, to all product uh, for which we can uh, set th uh, this price. So let's go to our storefront side. How it looks. This is our uh, home page. Here we have uh, some slider, footer, header, with search, logger. Here we have categories, uh, language switcher, uh, uh, card, and user profile. Here, for example, my card. Also, let's try to add any products. Mm, 
can go to for example view card page here we can change quantity for each product which we have in basket uh, also we can uh, if we have this uh, discount code we can apply it here and let's try to buy go to checkout For example, here we can have already. Uh, I can set my address, which I uh, saved when I tried to buy it previously. Um, okay. Here we have some available shipping options. Okay, let's check standard and let's go to billing. Here we need to. Ah, okay. So here we can verify. Uh, out of the box, it core uh, commerce nine uh, supports uh, uh, su supports payments uh, with uh, brain tree payment. So now we have confirmation page and we can confirm order. No. Some problems. Uh, okay, uh, how it looks in experience editor. So here we have some stuff for sidecar cameras. We can define some uh, uh, configurations for our stores. We can have multiple sides here with some uh, multiple settings uh, for each side, like uh, catalog configuration, which catalog we will use for our side, uh, any uh, currencies. We have only USD, USD currency, uh, currency configuration, fulfillment options, also language configuration, we have default language configuration, payment, federated and gift card, and some email. This configuration we are using for sending uh, order information after purchase process. So, uh, as I told, Sitecore uh, uh, uses uh, SXA and this is um, stuff we have here, like a tenant, uh, some site with some configuration, home page. Go to search page. So, uh, this is our toolbox where we can select any uh, commerce components, for example, for commerce account, we have uh, address editor, address list, change password, uh, for commer in commerce card, I'm sorry, 
we have also uh, five components also for catalog and we can easily drag and drop any components uh, for example here so all these components are manageable so and I think it will be good for content editors who will manage uh, commerce side and add uh, components on pages uh, so that's it from me thank you Hello. Hello. Everyone, uh, does Sitecore experience commerce support uh, rating system functionality? For example, can end user drop some uh, comments uh, related to the products? Or is this comment system, if I said core administrator, can I moderate uh, comments for products? Is there out of the box uh, functionality for this? Or we have to implement it uh, ourselves? As you know, for in a in in new release will be available comments only from facebook side okay. uh, you will have a sim sample code for that and i think you can create uh, your custom custom component like uh, co co comments mm -hmm. for example and uh, it will be easier i think uh -huh. so it's out of the box only comments from facebook you can use uh -huh. and the same with ratings here yeah, right Yep. Okay, uh -huh. thank you. Uh, isn't your storefront uh, Helix based? Yep. Great. And and uh, another question, as understood, the uh, the business tools are hosted within the .NET Core application, right? Right. Uh, also, uh, I think it will be also interesting if I will go to Ease. Uh, just a sec. Um. So it's it's a clear I it's a cl it's a clear installation of uh, uh, Setcore Commerce Nine, and for example, if you will see, for example, right now we have. Um, separate site for SXA storefront com also we have separate uh, site for solar for I for I for xconnect i'm sorry or for xconnect and uh, uh, additional uh, service like uh, commerce also in commerce minions camera ops cameras shops also we have set core uh, bis fx and identity server uh, in uh, version of circle cameras 8.2.1 uh, we can run, for example, report strapping without any uh, uh, security. So everyone who has access on our, the, for example, uh, production environment, we can uh, report strap, remove or change something. But for now, uh, Sitcore uh, integrated uh, some tokens for that. And f if you want to use, for example, any APIs, you need to run uh, you, you need to generate token and only with this token you can start to uh, uh, use any API. Any other questions? Hey, so Hi. Uh, I've got three questions. Yep. Three qu questions. Uh, so the first one is about the licensing model. Uh, so you uh, said that uh, everyone who wants to use Sidecore Commerce uh, should have uh, also SXA. 
so if someone will decide to buy such a commerce, should also remember to buy a 6A license or it is included? Um, I think it will be included, but uh, we will be better to contact with account manager, set core account managers about that. But as I know, it's a requirement. Without SXA, the new st sample storefront site will not work. Okay, the, the next question is uh, about the uh, shipment and payment providers. Yep. Uh, do you know actually uh, uh, which of them are uh, available uh, out of the box in Sidecar Commerce? Uh, as you know, also in the same time uh, when uh, Sidecar Commerce product team uh, implemented a uh, new Commerce 9, also another guys, and as you know, it will be also available for any, uh, for all developers on GitHub. So there you will have a possibility to uh, download, uh, there are a lot of uh, additional uh, plugins for Commerce and you can use it. But for example, if you will need to have your, uh, you, need, you will need to integrate new sidecar cameras, we said now with uh, any other uh, payment uh, gate, uh, gateways, for example, all my uh, f f fraud, uh, uh, anti fraud detection systems, you can easily to implement uh, just a plugin and that's it. Okay, the, the last question is about the uh, back office. Uh, so you said that uh, we can actually extend the Cycle Commerce uh, with an Angular uh, version number four, as I, rem as I remember. Yep. So uh, does, it, does it use uh, speak uh, version number three or it's uh, built on the wi with speak number two? Uh, it will be based on speak three, as I remember. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, thanks. Any other questions? How much time did it take you to install the <laughs> e-commerce site core? And uh, it's a good question, really. I spent about two weeks for install <laughs> uh, f because for limited availability. Uh, was not there a lot of documentation and uh, some steps uh, was dirty and uh, for example I tried to install commerce on Windows 10 and it was fail for me. <laughs> okay cool. Uh, I have also one question. <laughs> yep. So if you will compare a new commerce system with the previous one 8.2.1. So the main advantage I see is totally removal of the commerce server. Yep. But what do you see as advantages? As advantages that uh, you must you must use SXA for that and uh, helix based architecture. Because for example, Sidcore will not have any uh, any change to upgrade your Setcore Commerce uh, 8.2.1 and previous any uh, and uh, all our other previous versions uh, to Commerce 9. So if you want to start, you need you need to have I don't know maybe a new site <laughs> and start implement new store. Okay, so thanks, Andrew. Thank you. Да. Yeah.